plaintiff, Heidi Brown, says the defendant is her mother, and she raised Heidi in an abusive home until she went into the foster care system. Heidi claims the defendant is now trying to turn her children against her, and she's suing her mother for the cost of a motorcycle. Defendant Yvonne Nugent and her husband Eugene say since the age of two, Heidi has acted like a devil child. But despite their rocky relationship, Yvonne currently has custody of Heidi's children. All rise, this court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Start with you. Your Honor, as a child, I was raised in a home that I didn't quite agree with. Um, I was um, just, I was abused. In what way? Emotional, physical, and uh, environmental. Okay, and did anybody ever check on you and see if you needed to, some help at the household? Did you have someone to go to? No, Your Honor, I became a system baby, and I also... What? A system baby. So I... You went into the system? Yes, sir. In foster care? Foster what care age? for a short period of time. Um, we have a predominant last At name. At what age? I'm sorry, this was 16. And how long did, were you there? Uh, because of our name and the weight that we hold in South Bend, um, my foster parents abandoned me. How long were you there? For about two months. Okay. So you were in foster care two months? Yes. All right. And who are the foster care parents abandoned you? I'm not clear. Both. My mother gave me the option to either em emancipate myself or go to job corps. Why? Um, because I was dating as a typical teenager would do. Okay. Yeah, and I heard you say some other stuff about you didn't agree with something or y'all couldn't come to agreements when you were growing up? I love her tremendously. Because there is no agreement to come to when you're growing up in somebody's house. You do what you told. Absolutely. Okay, and if you're being abused, you go to the police or a near relative and tell them. And so that's why I'm asking for the type of abuse. Give me some instances. Physical, emotional, and environmental. Give me some instances. Oh, I'm some sorry. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. So, um, my mom happened to date a, a hustler, and um, he stole, she stole. Whatever he did, she that, did. That's a lot. Um, I was physically abused. By who? Uh, Give me an my mother. Tell me what happened. I can remember specifically one time going to get my tongue pierced in the South Bend Police Department How coming old were out. You? I was about hmm, 15 years old. 15, going to get your tongue pierced. Yes. And what happened? And my mother beat me up on the side of, the, of our home in the South no, Bend she, Police there Department. There was no exchange in words? No. No, she Why do you think she did it? She saw it all? She already knew? Um, How could she know without seeing you? Because of word of mouth. How long had the word of mouth floated around? Well, I caught the bus to go on a date with my boyfriend at the time, got back home, and she was waiting for me. Okay, so there was no word of mouth unless you told people on the bus. South Bend is us, our name. You're on the bus. You say time you got off the bus and went home. She was there. Yes, sir. So that's what I'm saying. Yes, sir. On the bus, you told people? No, I mean, it well, was then because people... No, you went to get your tongue pierced to the bus to home. And you say the way people found out is word of mouth. Where did the word get out? From the bus and from the people that. Okay, know you my told mom. people on the bus. You said, "Look at this town." Is that what happened? No. Well, explain. <laughs> you just can't tell me things that don't make sense. I'm sorry. Absolutely. I have every child in the world comes in here say, "I was abused by my mother." And then when I ask them to explain it, they do what you're doing. Absolutely. And that's why I have to discredit it unless you can give me some specifics. And that example was the poorest example. And you act like that was a big example. Ma'am, you give me some background. Some of it, what she's saying is true, but she's not telling it all. But at, at an early age, like two. I often tease and tell the, her siblings that Heidi is the seed of Chucky. She what? Is, she's the seed of Chucky. Okay, so that's what it, happened. Yeah, that's the Yeah, you yeah, told her she was a demon, yeah, and so yeah, she carried it out. Yeah, she carried it out. All right, good when, enough. It's, when she was... Uh, what else you call her? I call I call, other than hi, the seed, that's mm -hmm. it. She's a seed, and she, and she have shown a that bad seed, a, de a bad seed, a demonic seed is yes, what you've called yes, her it, since she was two yes, years sir. old. 
Yes, it's, I see what's happening. Yes. All right, let me get back to you. No, that's enough. I got your point. Ever since she's been two years old, you referred to her as demonic seed, and I guess you thought she was going to turn out all right. Go ahead, ma'am. Let me. Uh, so you rebelled because you were being called a demon since you were age two. I understand now why you would rebel. And for a mother that would call you a name like that as of age two, and is still saying you're a bad seed, I can understand why you would rebel against her 100%. So now I do understand. But I get a lot of young people coming in and putting their, as a young person, and that's what you started out with, they say, me and my parent never got along. So you do what you're told. You're not supposed to get along, but you're not supposed to be verbally or physically abused in that parent's attempt to get you to follow the rules. Uh, and so I can believe you based on one sentence out your mother's mouth. She is the seed of Chucky. She what? Is, she's the seed of Chucky. Okay, so that's what happened. Yeah, that's the Yeah, you yeah, told her she was a demon, and yeah, so she carried it out. Yeah, she carried it out. All right, good well, enough. It's, Yes, it's, I see what's happening. Yes. All right, let me get back to you. No, that's enough. I got your point. Ever since she's been two years old, you referred to her as demonic seed, and I guess you thought she was going to turn out all right. Defendant Yvonne Nugent and her husband Eugene are being sued by Yvonne's daughter, who claims Yvonne is trying to turn her children against her. So continue. What was going on with your life since then? I've always tried to reconcile with my mom. I've always tried to be... Um, a good daughter or per se, I, I didn't want to be a statistic. So high school sweetheart was my thing. Uh, ROCT, junior arts, OTC. I was an honor student. I love academics. I'm, I'm that just That sounds like a bad opposite. seed to me. No, I was the complete opposite. That sounds very special. Go ahead. Um, I, in, like I said, I feel like my mother has always targeted me as, um, like she said, a demon seed. Um, I do my you best. don't feel like it. <laughs> she said it today. Whatever you felt, she made sure she let you know today. Go ahead. I love her tremendously. Like I said, her you pain, good the for pain that, that was in You're good me. then. You're good. The pain the that was in love a woman or mama to tell you you're a bad seed. You're good. The pain. I tell her where to go. Go ahead. Let the me pain hear. that was afflicted on me, I believe, is the reason why I'm at or where I'm at today. Um, I am a licensed practical nurse. I have an associate's degree. I have two children, one that was an honor student or is an honor student in gymnastics, excelled in the traveling team. I have a son that is an expert drummer, um, and he, he kind of struggled a little bit because of my mom's toxicness towards me with my children's father. Um, she pretty you don't much, have to prove that. Go ahead. She pretty much raised him. So he, because he didn't have a mother figure at the time, she became the mother figure. And she was in an abusive relationship at that time, and he picked that up from her. He became abusive to me. <laughs> me and him are now split and living a life that she lived of a single parent. Um, we don't talk. We have co-parented because he have a child outside of me. So we have co-parented. And we know the Indiana guidelines as far as co-parenting. But um, because of the toxicity, my child is somewhere I don't know of right now. She is also poisoned to believe that I am a demon seed, not the business owner that I am, not the hardworking woman with an associate's degree that have done everything from the bottom up, a high honor student, still a high honor Has she student. achieved anything near where you achieved? Not, not okay, at all, That may be part of the problem, yeah. Losers look down on winners. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. Tell me what we're here for today because I, I want to go ahead and end this case quickly. I'm sorry. I am I suing her for... That. Say, I don't mean to have to do that to your case, but it's very disheartening to hear your mother say that about you. And after hearing all the achievements you've made and the recovery you've made from that child... If I may, Your Honor. It, no, you may not. Uh, it, I need to go. So not. let's let's get rid. Of, um, let's get out of here. She need to First thing, be quiet. I got custody of your Ma'am, please be quiet. I got custody of her kids. Judgment for the plaintiff. You wouldn't be quiet. You I kept telling you to. You a liar. Ma'am, I'm glad you that a she is not a You don't you have a to be subjected to her abuse. You a liar. Hey, abuse nothing. She, you, you, you a liar. Mm -hmm. I feel like I finally got the justice that I deserve. Um, my children, they will know the truth. 
Um, South Bend, where I'm from, they will know the truth. Um, I've worked so hard to get to where I am, um, considering the stipulations. But I thank her and I love her because, again, the pain is what got me here.